Welcome to the lecture on series solution of differential equations. In this lecture, we will study few basic definitions of series solution. So, in this, we will study what is analytic function, what is ordinary point, and what is singular point based on few conditions. So, two types of singular points are there regular singular point and irregular singular point. So, first of all, so general basic standard form of a dif linear differential equation is a naught of x y double dash plus a1 of x y dash plus a2 of x y equal to 0. We are solving this differential equation in infinite series. So, that is summation n equal to 0 to infinity cn x minus x naught rise to n. If I expand this, put c equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, we will get this. So, where c naught, c1, c2, so on, cn are the constants and this is converges at mod of x minus x naught less than r. So, we are convert this is in the standard form that is y double dash plus p of x into y dash plus q of x y equal to 0. For this, we are dividing this total equation with a naught of x. So, then if we are dividing this total, we will get y double dash plus a1 of x over a naught of x dash plus a2 of x upon a naught of x y equal to 0. Now, we are assuming this is p of x and this is q of x. Therefore, standard basic form of this is y double dash plus p of x into y dash plus q of x y equal to 0. Now see the definitions of what is analytic function. A function f is said to be a analytic at the point x0 if the Taylor series about x0 is given by summation n equal to 0 to infinity nth derivative of x0 over n factorial into x minus x0 rise to n exists and it is converges for all values of x in the interval of x0. So, which functions are analytic? So, all polynomial functions are analytic. So, all exponential functions, trigonometry functions and hyperbolic functions are analytic. All rational functions also analytic except the denominator is 0. Suppose if we consider this 1 upon x square minus 3x plus 2. So, if you are equating this x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0, we will get x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. If you are substituting 1 and 2, we will get infinity. So, that means this is analytic function except x, x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. See this example y double dash plus 3 of x y dash plus x square plus 3 of y equal to 0. So, p of x is 3x and q of x is x square plus 3y. So, therefore, it is a analytic function. Next, what is ordinary point? So, ordinary point is a point x0 is said to be ordinary in the standard basic form of a linear differential equation y double dash plus p of x into y dash plus q of x y equal to 0. If p of x and q of x both are analytic at x equal to x0. So, singular point. What is a singular point? A point which is not a ordinary point, then it is said to be a singular point. So, ordinary point means p of x and q of x both are analytic. So, singular point means, so it is not ordinary means p of x and q of x are both are not analytic at x equal to x0. So, based on some conditions, the singular points are two types. One is regular singular point and irregular singular point. So, for x0, we can equate this a0 of x to 0. For what value of x? It is 0 that is x0 is called a singular point. So, regular singular point. So, in the standard basic linear differential equation y double dash plus p of x into y dash plus q of x into y equal to 0 is not ordinary point x0 then when you say that it is a irregular singular point. 
so if x minus x naught into p of x and x minus x naught whole square into p of x are analytic at x equal to x naught then you say that it is regular singular point irregular means it is not regular singular point regular means these two are analytic so if these two are not analytic you can say that it is a irregular singular point that means x minus x naught of p of x or x minus x naught whole square into q of x or both are not analytic at x equal to x naught see one example so x square y double dash plus 2 x y dash plus x square plus 2 y equal to 0 so first of all you have to divide this total equation with x square a naught value so if you are dividing this total value with x square you will get y double dash plus 2x upon x square you will get 2 by x y dash plus x square plus 2 upon x square y equal to 0 so if you are comparing the standard linear differential equation p of x equal to 2 by x and q of x equal to x square plus 2 upon x square if the so what is x naught means we are equating this y double dash coefficient x square to 0 will get x equal to 0 now you have to check that x equal to 0 so that means if you are putting here x naught is 0 so x minus x naught that is x so x into x square by 2 if you are cancel this you will get 2 so 2 is a constant so constant always analytic so similarly x minus x naught whole square into q of x so x square into x square plus 2 upon x square this is q of x so if you cancel these two again we will get x square plus 2 so therefore it is also analytic if x minus x naught into p of x and x minus x naught whole square into q of x are analytic you can say that it is a regular singular point see one more example so in this also through dividing with x cube so if there is no x here so y double dash plus x square upon x cube that is 1 upon x y dash plus 3 upon x cube y equal to 0 so for x naught we are equating this x cube to 0 we will get x equal to 0 so x minus x naught into p of x so x minus x naught means x naught is 0 x into 1 upon p of x is so you can cancel that we will get 1 so it is a constant it is analytic but x minus x naught whole square into q of x so that is oh, x minus x naught value is 0 we will get x square upon 3 upon x cube if you cancel this we will get 3 by x if you are substituting x equal to 0 so we will get infinite so that means it is not analytic since if any one of them p this or this are not analytic you can say that it is irregular singular point so like that you can find out remaining two these two